morning alphas and sigmas. I got a TikTok sandwich for you today. Two smart girls with an idiot in the middle. Let's check it out. They're becoming more masculine because men are becoming more. Well, it's always our fault. We're not even three seconds into the damn video, and she's blaming us already. As more and more men are chemically castrated and brainwashed by the mainstream media, they become more emotionally unstable, less financially dependable and literate, less protective, and more destructive. Did y'all catch her little footnotes she has at the bottom? But now she's blaming tap water and chemicals in consumer products. And all this leads to men being destructive and lazy. Women are immune, however. And as a result, the polarity shifts when they are forced into the masculine. The shift in polarity into the masculine is built on survival mode, a lack of protection and hateful ideology implanted by mainstream media and our peers. So now she's making a little bit more sense. These females know they can't keep a man, so they go into survival mode. Then they're no longer feminine, they're non-binary. It doesn't help that Rockefeller has intentionally funded women's liberation to take women out of the home and set this insane standard that women need to be providers and nurturers, unrealistically, mind you. Another good point. The life women want is obtainable, yet unsustainable. Only men can be providers and nurturers. You bitches gotta pick one and stick with it. And as a result, women have to compensate for men's lack of leadership, honor, and accountability, and are unable to fully relax into our feminine. So you too busy trying to be a man, you forgot how to be a woman. The irony is delicious. You know, men always wanna know what women think of them. I'll tell you, we don't like you. We don't, we don't like you. Well, guess what, Princess Chin? I don't give a shit what you think about me. And judging by the responses to this video, no one else does. Okay, you have something to prove. You have something to prove because there are a million bajillion fuckboys out here who talk the good talk and wear the right clothes and say all the right things and all this shit trying to impress women, and it's fucking fake. Well, of course it's fake. Did you really think he was interested in your deep conversation? Did you really think liked your 12 cats? We are emotionally intelligent. We're women. We know when you're lying to us. We know when you're trying to butter us up and manipulate us. We're not fucking stupid, okay? Uh, yes. Yes, you are. Why else would a gay woman be on TikTok bashing men? Calling them fuckboys. It sounds like something a stupid bitch would say to me. You want a girl? You want a bitch? Work on yourself. Work on your toxic masculinity. Work on your patience. Work on your authenticity. Be kind and gentle and humble. Have something to offer these women. Okay? Don't on what planet does this 304 think a man wants to take advice from her? Just stick with women, baby. Stay out of grown men's business. Expect a woman to take care of you. Otherwise, you're going to be alone for the rest of your life. Thank you. You're not welcome. Your bullshit is as easy to see through as that empty cup you're pretending to drink out of. What's up with that anyway? Dumbass. So I'm not going to go into all the specifics because I'm sure y'all have already heard plenty about it and can make up your own mind. But when it comes to the situations with people like Will Smith and uh, Johnny Depp right now, what they've got going on, ought to teach us as a society something a little bit about toxic women. Preach it, sister. We've been screaming it for years, but I'm glad you're ready to talk about it. I don't know about y'all, but my whole life I was told to look out for men because men were the problem. Men were out to hurt you. Men would manipulate you. Men would lie to you. Men would cheat on you. Men would do terrible things to you in relationships, and you had to be extremely careful. You had to become hardened against men because what they wanted from you. Well, that's what females do. They blame everything on the man. Then they pass those lies down to their daughters, who grew up like you did, misinformed. And now I'm seeing that's not true at all. The truth is, we created a generation of women who believe they are above anything else and should be treated as goddesses and step on men. Amen. Acting superior and bashing men makes them feel important. 
they can't face the reality that they're utterly useless. And now we have a bunch of men who have been treated poorly and abused by women and nobody listens to them. Well, well, they're starting to, especially when women like you start speaking up and calling out the hypocrisy of these womenists. And that is fucking sickening. Women, take some accountability for your shit. That's it. You tell them, girl. A woman will destroy herself and everyone around her before she admits that she's the problem. Thank you for giving us hope that there are still some good women out there. Because from what I see, these modern women are angry, bitter, and unsatisfied with their lives. Men may be more violent than women, but no animal or creature on earth is as spiteful and devious as a woman who doesn't get what she wants. That's all I got, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk to you soon.